yo, testing my audio, yo, yo. yo. <laughs> hey, 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 it's your boy. It's your boy, Sweet Daddy D. A lot of people call me that. Okay, my name is Navron Karimov. Welcome to the Billion Dollar Brand. This is a show where we take you and uh, figure out what, it, what it's going to take for you to get to a billion dollar brand. So today I'm having a very special episode. I think this is going to be my best, my best, uh, my best show ever. Okay, I'm not a billionaire. I'm not a millionaire. I mean, by some metrics, you you could call consider me uh, a, a millionaire. I mean, this, the valuations people go on 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 Wall Street nowadays are crazy you know you get you, you you go 10 times earnings you know people say that people say that whatever whatever your business generates that's like you multiply it by 10 or whatever and that's how much the company's worth so if that's the, really the case then, then i'm already a millionaire you know but i don't go by you know valuations because really at the end of the day it's like whatever whatever someone's willing to pay for 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 your company and i don't think anyone's gonna pay me two million dollars um for my for my uh for my for my funding brand but you never know so i mean that's that's what i did uh i took my my company from zero to two hundred five thousand in revenue in seven months and yeah, it was it was um it was pretty easy doing that but i'm gonna share with you i like i said i think this is gonna be my best episode ever um and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go go step by step and and and, and deal discuss with what people do what 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 do you do when 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 customers say no to you? Okay, and I think this is this is a very important subject. Um, it happens to me um, in in my in my sh- in my show um, in my in my in my company a lot, and I'm gonna share with you what I do to deal with it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you to a, a new way of selling. Uh, okay, I'm, this might 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 I say it's a bit revolutionary. Um, what 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 I'm gonna share with you today, but. It, but first things first, if you really want to seriously grow your business, you got to have customers and you got to have people to do it. So we're giving away our leads right there. Kareemofcapital.com for if you want merchant cash advance leads. All right, I'm giving them away for a fraction of what they cost me to, to generate, you know, ridiculous discounts, ridiculous. I mean, we like in, in, in the heydays, in, in, the, in the prime days, like we were doing easily like 10, 20 grand, 30 grand a month on Google ads and Facebook ads. So, you know, if, if, if you want part of that, um, you know, things that we, that we, that we dump, we pour thousands of dollars in, into, uh, advertising in, you know, that's, that's where you get the leads. You get them with Kareem A lot uh, people ask me all the time, you know, how do I get started in this industry? How do you get started in this industry? I'll show you how you get started in this industry. It's real. It's, it's literally the simple, it's literally the simple. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna freak when I show you this. Okay. You get out your trusty, uh, your trusty smartphone, right? Here it is. That's my, that's my phone. You get out your trusty smartphone. You go to, you go to, all right, let me, let me show you. Okay. You go to, you go to the, you go to the, the, the phone app. I think that's what's called the phone app. Okay. And then, and then once you're on the phone app, you go and you dial, a, you dial a business owner. People call me all the time, dude. People from funding companies call me. They say, hey, Mr. Karamov, are you still looking for funding? They say that probably because they can't pronounce my first name. You know, it's not that hard. It's a Davron. Davron. Like, like, like with a real, real uh, uh, Russian accent. But literally, you pick, you get, you get, you get your trusty phone app out. And then, and then, and then you, and then you dial, you dial, you don't know anybody, man. You could, you could call on people in your area, dude. I know people that that went door to door selling selling cash advance. I know plenty of them. And and I know people that built teams around that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you a lot of stuff. And I I, I have had the the pleasure of, of of working with you know real estate agents to see how they're in my last video. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, it's how do how do you uh, the the differences between. Uh, real estate broker and a cash advance broker and I, i've had the pleasure of of um you know ex- exper- experimenting with these guys face to face and um you know 
seeing how their sales process is a little bit different than ours. Um, so we're going to be talking about what, what to do when, when, when the customer says no to you. All right. Um, so I'm going to bring up a little picture here now. All right, so that 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 right there is, is the sales process. Okay, it's it's very long. It's very, I'd say it's it's a really hard sales process. Like there's there's a lot there's a lot that goes in it that people don't people don't realize. So I'm I'm be showing you my my sales process and what what I would do in these situations. Um, but if you really want to get get into the game, you know you can just buy the leads straight off me. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to go, uh, you know, go, go knocking on doors. You get people that are actually qualified, interested. Cause, mo cause I look, I've, I've been to so many cash advance for brokers. I've seen what they do and it's, re it's really the same thing. They, they, they just buy two year old, three year old age data. Okay. And then they go, they go and then have people call on them. But what, like, what, like if you had the choice between calling on two year old, three year old data, or UCC lists where people are already, you know, retired or, or no longer in business, you know, so, so you're, you're like, you know, you're, you're calling people that aren't, aren't, don't even really exist in business. If you had a choice between that and people who, who applied for funding within the past 30 days, which one would you choose? Simple. It's silly, man. It's silly. What I, what, like, I've been to so many cash advance brokers that I can't believe, like, these guys are still in business, right? Like, they're doing the same thing. Um, so, so this, this is the sales process, uh, for our company, for our funding company. And so we're going to, we're going to start with off with the first step, which is contact. You got to make contact. So how do you get contact? You know, it's, it's very like you, you get, you have your list of leads. You have your list of contacts. If you don't have your list of contacts, you can go buy them for me at kareemcapital.com. Get your list of contacts and. And then, and then you make you make contact with someone. You get someone interested. You know, hey, could you use working capital? Yeah. Oh yeah, I could use funding. Oh yeah, let's get it. All right. So that that that's that's very simple. You know, all you, all, all the, when you get a contact on the phone, the only three questions you gotta ask them is, do you need money? How much do you need? When do you need it? Okay. Those are very important because if someone needs money like two months from now, if they say two months from now I need money, then all right then you know have a, have a good day bro like i like that at, at that point i i wouldn't i wouldn't get frustrated i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't have any any resentment or i wouldn't have any emotional response if you if you if you said no to me at that point because it's not, like what 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 we always find in this industry is either you need the money or you don't so if you don't if you don't need the money then it's 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 uh it's it's not really it's not really worth it for me like People wouldn't pay high interest, you know, 40% on their money if they didn't need the money, you know? So if they say no to me there, that's fine. And also if they, if they have really high expectations for what they're getting, then probably it's not a good deal either. Like if they're making 10 grand a month, but they want a hundred grand a month or they want a hundred grand in funding, probably, probably, uh, that guy's probably out of his mind. So I would probably have no emotional response to that person and just be like, you're, you're, you're out of your mind, bro. Like, like what else could I say? You're, you're crazy. All right, and then um, we're gonna go to step two, which is get docs. Get docs. Docs. Docs are the holy grail of merchant cash advance. Okay, if you if you if you if you could do one thing in this industry and nothing else, it would just be getting docs. Like in my in my last company, um, there, there, I had this comp. I was working for this company, and I I basically right out of the gate set the record for for most amount of docs, um, in a month. Which which was I had sixty, so sixty in a month, that's like two a day, you know. I set the record for that. No one, no one. I don't. Not that I know of, but I don't think anyone beat my record since. And it's been like it's been like a year since I set that record, and no one's been been able to beat me. So if there's nothing else that you could do in this industry, you, you just get the docs because eventually you have you're going to have people that, that say yes to you just by getting docs. But without the docs, there's no business. You know what I mean? You could be talking to a guy on the phone all day and then, and then nothing would ever get done. But if you, if you get the docs, then, 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 then you're, there's some potential, you know, is the microphone too loud? You know, I, I know there was, a uh, some, um, so it was, it was really loud in the last video. You guys are also welcome to, uh, to, to post questions in the chat. Uh, all right, so so yeah, so get the docs because with the docs you can actually uh, do business with the person. If not, then 
you're, you're screwed. All right, so once you get the docs, docs usually means application and three months bank statements, okay? And that that's that's very simple, application, three months bank statements. I mean, you, you couldn't ask for anything easier. I mean, what do you want, like one month bank? I mean, I've got people funded with just one month bank statement. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not a, it's not a thing, but like, let's say the guy just got in a business or the guy just started, um, or the guy just opened a new bank account. He didn't have a bank account before. Then one month, one month bank statement, two months bank statements is okay. Typically, you don't want that, but it's okay. And then a good rule of thumb is for every, and this this this, this, will, this will guarantee that you never get discouraged or have any emotional response. Uh, is every every deal, which every deal is like average, like I don't know, a couple grand commission. Every deal is like what's it called? I think that I think the average is two two thousand dollars on a, on a deal. So that's that's basically twenty thousand funding. Um, every deal is about 10, 10 docs. So you need to get ten applications and and ten three months bank statements. So basically 30, 30 months bank statements. And in order to get a deal, that that that's a that's a good rule of thumb. Um, usually it's more than that, just because if you're if you're competent, which most people are, most most people are really good salespeople. They just they they can't get they can't scale up. That that's what I that's what I noticed um, in the, in the industry is that they're they're really good salespeople, but they can't scale up. So um, that's that's that that's what is is what and and an application has to go hand in hand with the bank statement. You can't have either the bank the application or either the bank statement. You need to have both. Okay. And what I what I did what we did with with our company was we simplified the entire process where people can literally do everything on their own. You you go on our website funderhunt.co. You you type in the application, you know, and then you and then you upload the bank statements. That's it, you know. They you, you could do it all on all by yourself, you know. So that that those three steps would uh, would usually be done by um by them, by by the actual by the by the actual customer. Uh, okay, so let's let's go to the next one. And and so let's say you got an offer, uh, the guy got approved, you know. Then then you could go ahead and say, yo. You know, I got this money for you. Um, it's 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 what it is. It's you know, say fifty thousand, a thousand bucks a day. That's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. Um, like I like I would take that deal myself. Like and and a lot of people don't like like people when I say that I would take a cash advance myself. People think I'm crazy. Like, yeah, you you will you will pay you would pay forty nine percent on your money. And I'm like, dude, it, it's all relative, man. But I would take a cash advance myself, and like I said, I have I have people calling me for cash advances. But let's say, all right, so so here you're gonna you're gonna sell this offer. Let's say the guy says no to you. He's like, no, it's too expensive, or no, I gotta think about it. Like that 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 I think about, gotta think about it, is the worst one to me because, the thing about it thing is like, dude, what do you, what do you what do you what are you thinking about like. Like like I want a decision like like don't tell me you're gonna think about it. I just tell me yes or no. You could say no to me. That's fine. Just, just, just say yes or no, so I can get on and you can get on with your life. Like, geez, Louise. But here, if the guy says no to me, like, what you gotta understand is, is since this is such a long sales prices process, so I put down seven steps. Okay, maybe there's probably there's probably more steps than that, but I just put down seven steps. Maybe there's like 13, 10 steps, maybe. But basically, my entire my entire uh, job. Right, my entire job is to get them from one to two to three to four to five to six to seven to funded. So even if the guy says no to me, right, I'm like, dude, I don't care, man. Like, I gotta get, I gotta, get, my job, my my literal job is to get you from from number four to number five, which I'm gonna share with you uh, number five in just a second. But like, even if the guy says no to me, I'm like, dude, okay, and all right, all right, you gotta think about it. In the meantime, get me these docs. You know, give me driver's license, void a check. I'll get you contracts. You know, it it, it it's it's just it. I gotta get you to the next step. Like, you if you're if you are prohibiting me from doing my job, then I like, what like what is this? Like you're interfering with my work at that point, and I don't like people that interfere with my work. Um. So so really, I mean, the the point I'm trying to drive home is like, regardless of what the guy says, I'm trying to get him to num step number five fast you know because people people in this industry need money fast you know that's why they're paying these, these uh, high rates expensive rates whatever all right so let's go to the uh, next one um 
So you get you get the offer and then you just request contracts. Um, so you know you got the you got the guy's driver's license, voided check, proof of EIN, tax returns is usually what what need what's needed. Um, proof of ownership. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean those are basically the the, the ones that you need uh, to get contracts. Usually it's just driver's license, voided check, or sometimes like lenders like on deck, you don't even need a driver's license, voided check. You could just get the guy funded right then and there, which obviously saves you a lot of time, right? Um, so yeah, you get the contracts, and then and then you and then you get the contracts. You forward the contracts. This is step number six. You get you get the contracts. You forward the contracts to the merchant, the lend the uh, business owner. The business owners get the, gets them done. You know whether you not you need a COJ, you need to go to a notary. Um, but you know it is what it is. You just sign initial. A lot, a lot of lenders are doing DocuSign nowadays, but just sign initial. Fill in the banking info, and send me a scan. That's typically how it works. And then me, you might need to ship it, ship it to the lender if needed. Okay. And then um and then okay so you you got the contracts and you got the steps in steps you could you you could have some things like AR accounts receivable. Landlord verification. And I'm not trying to make this like sound difficult to you guys, but it's just this this is actually what 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 goes on when what's needed to be done, and so. At the bank login, the bank login is usually the the biggest one because the guy is negative, or the guy just got funded, or the guy has really bad payback months. Um, you know that then that that could kill the deal right there when you're at when you're at the step number seven. But for the most part, if you get if you get all the way through, you, you're most likely going to be looking at a big fat funded. So. That is, that's the sales process here and customers that say no to you so like I said at any at any point at any well I didn't say this yet but at any point of this of these seven steps that you see here at any part of those steps seven steps they could say no to me and what, what it used to be like let, let me take you back what it used to be like was I used to go and ask ask these guys like it used to be whatever it takes to get to get the, the deal done basically or to get many deals done right and it's still that's still what it is but um but back then it used to be me just trying to get people into the next sales process but i'm going to share with you something that has changed my life which is not focusing anymore on the on the on the on the people on the people wanting money for me but more importantly, fo focusing on the big guys, like the like the real big guys, like people doing millions of dollars a year in revenue. Like I want to help those guys. I want to help the people that are already winners, so I get I get more out of it than than someone that that, that just just starting out or someone that's maybe they're maybe they're you know they they have bad revenue. They don't have that much revenue. But really, if when, once I shifted my focus to the big guy, like it made so much sense to me. Like, dude, I've had people that that like, and again, and again, people either need the money or they don't, right? So, so let's let's establish it. They they either need the money, so it's either it depends on how serious they are, but also if you if you factor in the big guys, which is not on that on that grid over there, but if you factor in the big guys, dude. The big guys might not need the money or might not like the offer right now, depending on how many positions they have. If their positions fall off, they could be looking at money in the future. And that, that, that was really crazy to me because I had I had big guys, right? So I had I had people like like fifty thousand dollar contracts and the guy would say no to me and I'm like and I'm like, I just gotta keep this guy on the phone. <laughs> if I keep him on the phone long enough, you know, he'll eventually say yes to me. And I'm like, dude, well, you told me you could use the money for to get you through to September, right? You told me that you could use the money for equipment, uh, working capital, and he's like, "Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not trying to pay this deal." But little did I know, like, and then, and so I, I passed it off to my, uh, to, to my, to my partner, and I said, "Here, take this call because I, I can't sell this guy. I need you to sell him for me. I need you to get, get this deal done." And then, and then, and then, like within 30 seconds of, of him talking to the guy on the phone, he just he hangs up. It's like he didn't want it. He was like, "Have a good day, bro." Like he didn't want it, but but come later on, like like this month or last month, I can't remember. We got him an even bigger deal, 
we got him even more money and 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 so it, it was more it was more money than before and more in, in in turn more commission so what i'm trying to say to say to you is like if the guy isn't ready right now it's fine like just follow up with him later but the important thing is 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 who who you who you're spending your time with is if it's if it's big guys only then eventually you're going to get a big deal a big commission check but um but but if if they say no to me during any any part of this process and I usually like having people on the phone, business owners on the phone, but if they can't get on the phone, like you got you got to adapt to whatever they're using. I text I text business owners all the time and I've gotten deals done through text. Literally texting back and forth, you know, okay, now now you got to get me these, you got to get me you got to get me the bank login. They're going to call you right now for funding call. Like it, it was all done through text a lot of, like a lot of the, a lot of these guys. Cuz sometimes sometimes if a, per, if a person's texting back and forth with me, I'll ju- I'll just I'll just roll with that. But okay, so yeah, so if contact they say no to me, whatever, um, you know, and 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 really the, the the sales process only becomes serious once I get the docs. Like like I I touched on that before, but it 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 only becomes real when I get the when I get the application and bank statements. Before that, it's like it's nothing. Um, so so yeah, so and then and then I guess the big the bigger one is number four. Number four, sell offer. Like like I said, like it's all about getting them to to, to, to convert good converting them to the next step. So if if I can and if they're not really a big guy, I just I just get I can just get them contracts anyway. I, I just get them contracts and I'm like, here, sign this, sign this, sign this and this is by the way, uh, a uh, I've had a lot of mentors, but one one dude and I'll, I'll go over what they said to me. But but one dude was like, on these small deals, man, you're doing it wrong, man. You just got to send them the contracts and say, sign here, 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 here. That's it. So I, I started I started adapting that. And um, but really, like, it only only in the past week or so, it has it has completely made more sense, much more sense to me. Um, this, 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 like, just, you know, getting, focusing on the, on the big guys and, um, and a lot of people talk about this. It's called the, the 20, 20, 80 principle or the 80, 20 principle, which is the 20% of the actions that you take result for 80% of your success. So that's what it was. Um, and then I had, I had another mentor uh, who basically told me that it was, a, it was a game of conversion. And, and then another one told me to box them in, box them in, which is, you know, you, you obviously you want to do whatever you can to, to, you know, like, like think of a box, you know, like a, like a box and you want to put the guy in the box and, and, and get it done that way, which it works a lot of the time. Don't get me wrong, but if, if the guy says no to you, then I just still, I just try to force him through that step anyway to, to the next step, which is, uh, get the contracts, you know, and, and the big part is, is that the big deals make all the difference because you could be working you know non-stop for it's it, like the difference between a big deal and a small deal is y- you're doing the same amount of work anyway and in the beginning i, w- I was con- concerned about these uh these fi- like these small baby deals but a- as you go on you realize like no the big deals is is what where it's at because you don't you can you don't get the guy now you get him later you know all that stuff. So I ho- I hope this 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 video was helpful. Uh, you know, basically, if the guy says no to you, you 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 keep at him. You don't you don't you don't you don't fall off. It's like you don't you don't you don't retreat, but you you still you still keep uh, pushing the guy. And then and then depending on how serious he is, it's like an it's like an algorithm. It's like a equation. If the seriousness plus um deal deal uh and and for me like the the people that always make the most money were the easiest ones to deal with the ones that are making millions of dollars a year were always the ones the easiest ones to sell 
the easiest ones to get uh, any, any kind of uh, stipulations, any kind of any if I need tax returns, bank statements, they're the easiest ones to get them from. Versus these small guys who are still trying to figure it out. You know they have they're running trying to do they're trying to do a hundred things, whereas the big guys are the ones that, you know, that see the value in, in what um, and that they know they know what it is. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. So, the basic the, the basic takeaway from this video is my takeaway is those guys that are are big, like, like keep them around keep them around your shoulder. Don't stop don't stop following up with them. Every month is a new month. Every month could be could be new, new, new something something else. But also, you want to apply. What's the word? Urgency. You want to apply urgency, like, like, dude, this this, this approval is expiring shortly, or, you know, trying to you can try to make them feel bad, like you know. You have, you have five positions now, you're higher risk, you know things like that, which it's not it's not like I'm trying to make it feel bad. It's it's those 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 are all factual statements. And depending on how many positions you have, that that makes it more risky, you know, for the lender. So, the, the, I mean, the basic takeaway is like, just just don't give up, man, because because the, the the difference between a big deal like like I'm talking like thousands of dollars commission coming into your pocket next week is like, it's there. It's there. So um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are serious about growing your merchant cash advance business you you literally just buy a thousand leads and say here little bro little sis call these guys for me and that's it you can sit back you know um so we we sell cash advance leads at cream of capital.com cream of capital.com for your merchant cash advance leads um you know you you could you could shortcut this entire process and 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 Get them, get them done before. Before, whereas the other guy is like, is like still trying to f save his money and figure it out. You know, but um, but we we give you tar targeted qualified people with that applied recently within seven to thirty days. So it's like win win. Um, and then you know you get one deal off that, and then you're you're R ROI positive. Um. And then, you know, we're going to Miami on April 30th. I'm going to post a link. I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm going to put a link in the description on where where you can uh, register for the Miami event. Uh, we, we've had people call, uh, hitting me up about it. But basically what it is, is it's, it's a, it's a, I'm buying like 20 to 25. We have a table of 20. I'm buying them all dinner, all these cash advance brokers dinner. And... It's in, it's in a really good place. It's a it's a Brazilian steakhouse, K Fogo de Chao, and basically we're gonna be talking about the state of the union of merchant cash advance, and how to how to how to how to grow your business. You know, um, you know, marketing, advertising, etc. But that's what it is. What it is. If you guys are new to the channel, like you gotta hit the subscribe button already, and smash the like button. You know, smash the like button because. I know I've been I've been I've been pretty slacky on the on the daily uploads. I'm trying to I'm trying to get that in order. But I mean I like we we come to you on on this show like you know and then we have this other show. So I I mean we're we're trying to get the daily uploads thing going. But thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. The end button is here. All right, see you.